Hello, I'm Joe Watson. I'm the Director of Public Programmes at Sotheby's Institute of Art and a design historian. If I look a bit frayed around the edges, that's due to sleepless nights tending to a new arrival in our family, a baby girl. And perhaps it's this new entry into the world that has caused me to reflect on the entry points we experience in our day-to-day -day lives. Doorways, gateways, thresholds to places, our first physical connections with the building. And so the London texture I most miss is that of the aluminium door handles to the Queen Elizabeth Hall at the South Bank Centre, the doors of which were first opened in 1967. It's not just for what they represent as the gateway to cultural experiences past and, and future, but also what they articulate as a kind of teenager's powerful, rough riposte to the smoother, softer, oh-so-refined Scandinavian modernity of the Royal Festival Hall. So if handshakes deliver first impressions, I think door handles probably do too. We're encouraged to take hold of these door handles, to reach round their rugged, calloused edges and into the smooth interior of the handle and pull or push with enthusiasm to enter. The almost molten lava-like texture of the rough cast aluminium gives these doors an organic, almost ancient flavour. They communicate something of the rest of the site too, which, in Adrian Fortier's words, was conceived more as a landscape than a building. What of the pandemic-ridden future? Will we touch door handles again without reaching for the dreaded hand sanitizer? Will it be a shoulder or an elbow to the door? An awkward shove? Or will we come to rely on technology-based and touch-free ways of opening doors? Don't we lose something simple but rather singular with that? I hope it won't be too long until I can touch those door handles again and enter into the architectural and multi-sensory experiences uh, that the Queen Elizabeth Hall holds. To be able to enter for the first time with the next generation will only add to that experience.